this also speaks to this decentralization of power, right? Like if there's this um, pressure for them to declare dividends, then it's decentralizing that more towards the shareholders rather than creating this citadel, right? Um, yeah, interesting. Okay. Man, I've, I've got a lot to learn. There's so much stuff that if you wanted to spend like a day at least just digging into those things, you would still have questions. But it's just there's so much going on right now. So fascinating. So great to be an investor right now, I think, because it's either going to be um, like a really dramatic Armageddon situation or possibly, and this is my base case, one of the best times to be alive as an investor because we're entering into a new a new state of some sort where I think maybe, I think there might be something like that cooking, to be honest. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but um, like I'm a closet optimist, hardcore when it comes to what's going on right now, um, underneath it all, like it's it's pretty scary on the surface, but I think, yeah, like if, if you were committed to a long-term strategy of 20 to 30 years with your investment journey, then I think you could be encouraged, especially if you're just starting out because who the hell cares if it crashes tomorrow, you've still got 20 or 30 years ahead of you.